Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. I'm over at my shop, it's the weekend. Oh, only got a few minutes, but hey, I've been doing something really cool for my guys. So in the morning, on Monday morning, they're gonna be surprised. It's a good thing. They treat me good, I treat them good. It's the way this industry has to be. And uh, they got a special, special present on Monday morning when they come in, right? I can't talk to you about it though, but they'll, they'll see it, all right? But you know, I just thought to myself, I'm like, hey, why not just bring out my phone? Because there's literally thousands of comments coming through like crazy and I've been busy. When you see somebody liking all those comments, that's me putting the time in hundreds, like, like, like answering what I can and stuff with my wife yelling at me from the side, Titan. And I'm like, oh man, but it's my family out there. But anyway, you know, I gotta dedicate time to my family, right? So I just thought, how about I actually like turn on my phone, just get raw in my shop real quick. It's the weekend, and uh, this is the beautiful thing, right? Let's let's talk about what we've been talking about. We've been talking about rising to greatness. We've been talking about education, CAD, CAM, and CNC. We've been talking about the new mill. Oh man, I'm so depressed. Like, see, it's still got the bar. It's still locked. Oh man. These guys are so busy. They're selling so many machines. Like I might have to wait till after Thanksgiving to get my machine set up. <sighs> Man, it's horrible. It's horrible. But you know what? I'm 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 honored to have this machine, the DMU 53rd generation, in my shop, and I just can't wait. I've been like I've been studying the manuals. I've been like getting into it already. Check this out. I got my tooling all set up. Oh, what is that? What is this? This is chunk, right? So I'm gonna put this big old pallet like bone down, right? This base right here, I'm gonna put it onto my five axis table. And then I'm sure you guys know what these guys are, right? So I got my vices, like a big old thick five axis vice right here. I got my other vices over here. So basically, check this out. You take this pen right here, it locks underneath the vice. Boom, boom, there's two of them, two of them. And then it locks under this one. And in seconds, you basically just put the vise and it just boom, and it just, it just locks in place. Take the vise off, put it back, take the vise off, put it back in seconds. Take the regular vise off, put the five axis in, you know, put aluminum pallets in, put steel pallets in, lock them in, take them out. Uh, so we're, we're fixturing up good because we have a lot of tutorials, we have a lot of like crazy things we're gonna do to educate you guys, all right? And it needs to be fast and fisher. So I'm all I'm all set to get this thing going. I just need to get it all set up, all right? So you guys will be uh, joining me for the journey and then we're gonna have fun on this machine. Tyson's already killing it on the NLX 2500, making tutorials, boom, all right? So anyway, let's, let's have a quick conversation, okay? I don't wanna go more than like six or seven minutes. One thing is um, we've been talking education. We've been talking about this trade. We've been talking about putting, you know, putting the work into this trade and rising to greatness, right? I seen like, look at the comments. There's a lot of older like people saying, hey, this is only for the kids. And I'm like, no, man, if you have a, the right attitude and you need an opportunity at no other time in history, could you actually go online and learn CAD and CAM for free on a high level, right? That's what we brought to the table. Academy.titansofcnc.com. It's free. And you basically go in there, read the implementation guide on the front page, go over to resources, download Fusion for free, Fusion 360. You can have it at your house if you're a hobbyist and a student or you're not making $100,000. You can have it at your house and then you just go and go into education and just go into learn CAD, learn CAM and just start knocking out the projects. Go down the building blocks, go into like the Titan 1M building block on the right hand side of the video that teaches you step by step how to design, how to program 
and how to actually machine the part on the side, you'll see related files. You got setup sheets, you got prints, you got FA first article inspection sheets, you got um, lists that, that take you through all the different steps of setting up the machine. So there's like all these different things. You check, check, check. If you don't know how to do something like, like probe or, or stone your table or do something, there's a video attached to it and you just watch that video, right? So at no other time, could you just learn like CAD, CAM, and CNC for free on a high level, right? We're bringing in the machines. We're doing all the five axis videos now, right? Teaching you step by step, not leaving anything out. Teaching you the trade, right? We got the BB Aero, Aerospace, working off of datums, working in tents, like hitting those tolerances, hitting that true positioning, you know, bringing forth jobs that when you master these jobs, you can do anything in this trade, right? You can do anything. So if you're 18, 16, 15, or 80, like some of our students, you need to get on it and you need to make it happen, all right? So what are, what other questions do we do we have? I've seen a lot of people, you know, talking about, you know, they're not making enough money. Well, guess what? There's gonna be a lack of people out here. There's gonna be a lack, I'm gonna reposition real quick. Well, guess what? There's going to be a lack of good machinists here very shortly. Millions of jobs are going to go unfulfilled. And guess what? It's going to be hard to find those good workers. Okay. So the price is going to go up. The price is going to go up. But what I also want to say is that, hey, just because you're a machinist doesn't mean that you deserve big money, right? What kind of attitude do you have? How do you lift everybody else up around you, right? What kind of skill do you bring to the table? Can you make a part start to finish? Can you set it set it up? Can you actually design it and program it and make it? Like what kind of skills do you have, right? And and then not only making a part, make it, a lot of people can make parts. How efficient are you at making that part, right? So make sure that you like look at yourself and make sure that you're bringing greatness to the table so that you can make a great wage, right? We should never stop learning. We should just keep excelling and making it happen, all right? So when um, young people entering the trade, there's a lot of questions. Hey, I'm just entering CNC and and like, what advice can you give me and this and this? And, and I wrote today on my personal Facebook group. You guys know we have a Facebook group. That's where I give all my time. So it's a Titans of CNC Academy, a Academy group. It's a private group on Facebook. And there's, there's like 24,000 guys in there and girls and students and teachers all learning from each other, right? But we all talk all day long about this trade. So make sure you join that group. It is amazing. But today I was just talking to a young guy on there and I just said, look, when I walked into the trade, I was making nine bucks an hour. I had child support. I was hungry. I was already 26 years old. You know what I mean? So like, first, first off, like I was hungry. Second off, I was likable. <laughs> Don't underestimate that. I was likable, man. I had a good attitude. I loved being there. I wanted to learn, right? Whatever they asked me to do, I did. I didn't complain about anything. But at the same time, after work, I'd go talk to the boss and I'd be like, hey, do you have books? Do you have this? And I would devour, devour everything that they would hand out to me. And I'd ask for projects. I'd ask to come in on Saturdays for free. I'd ask to stay after work. I'd ask for all these things. And guess what? Older people in this trade, they love that. They love seeing a young guy with an attitude where he wants, he or she wants to learn the trade. And, and when they see it, they will give upon themselves, right? Now I'm on the other side. I'm the old guy, right? I'm the old, not so old, but I'm the guy who's been in the trade for 20 something years and, and I've made decisions in business and, and education to say, you know what? What do I want to do with my life? I want to teach. I want to lift people up. I want to bring forth education. And like, I just stumbled on a way to teach like millions of people and lift up our whole country and just get people inspired. And I'm like, this is, this is why I'm on this phone right now. Right? So if you're young, have a positive attitude. Don't take in the negative. If you feel that you can do something yourself, right? And, and you believe it and, and it, and you have just cause, right? 
then basically walk it boldly, right? But remember, this is months and years and years to learn this trade. You gotta, you gotta put the time in and you gotta make sure that, that you're bringing greatness, that you're bringing workmanship. You're caring about somebody else's machine and their tools and their things, right? And you gotta be that person that is willing to come in early, leave late, come on the weekends, make it happen. And guess what? Your money will go up, right? I was talking about money earlier. Man, like money's gonna go up. It's scarce. It's going to be scarce for getting good machinists. So good machinists are going to get paid well. And, and everybody's scared of automation and robotics. Guess what? Who services the robots? All this, all these jobs that we can't do now, well, they're coming back. China and other countries are getting super expensive, right? So now people are bringing that work back and they, we, we don't have enough workers, right? So now we can get paid a good wage to do incredible work, but now we have to out automate. We have to out think. We have to use automation. We got to have teams, you know what I mean? And just make it happen. All right. So I also talked about in resources on the academy, academy, small groups. There's a map. It's crazy. Go down to resources on the academy. You can drop down to academy, small groups and read all about it. And then look at all of those uh, groups right there, academy small groups. Those are companies that basically create a small group, kind of like a church, you know what I mean? Like a small group where individuals from this company and the outside come together to actually work on the building blocks and the rocket and the BB arrow and all the different projects. And they program at home, they design at home, they bring their programs in and actually make it happen at work on a Saturday morning on a Monday afternoon at a night or something, just on a machine, and it's awesome. It's awesome. Culture grows, lives change, companies hone their skills and just get better. We as humans, like, we need to rise to greatness. We're like salmon swimming up. We don't know why, but we have to have a reason to rise. And if a shop is keeping you stagnant, the shop is not going to do good. So if you own a shop, you should become an academy small group because you have education that's free. You just grab it, download it. It's free. I give it to you for free, me and my team. All right. So let's take this trade to greatness. Let's take our workers to greatness. Let's like make it amazing. All right. It's all about that attitude. Okay. I got to go home now. All right. My hand is shaking. I'm holding this phone. All right. Boom. All right. I love you guys. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, put the comments. I'm going to answer your questions. And let's do this. Let's take over the world, man. Make it happen. CNC machining. Boom. By myself. All right. Bye.